Okay, another thing we're going to look at <clears throat> in macros is we're going to look at the VBA code, and that is the code behind the macro. That is what is actually um, writing the macro as you record it, and you do need to know just a little bit about it. So we're going to record another macro. This macro will type the name of your business at the top of the document, and we will also change the formatting of the text that we type. So I'm going to name my macro, and I'm going to have it available for all documents, and then I am going to type the name of the company, and it's important to use the key keys on the keyboard when you are selecting something. So I'm using shift and the left arrow <coughs> to highlight the name of my company. Then I want that, I want the font to be changed. I'm just going to pick some font. Okay, we're going to pick some font here. And then we are going to make the font size bigger. And we are going to choose a font color. Just going to choose a blue color there. And we deselect and go back to developer, hit stop recording. And so now let's see if our macro worked. Uh, let me go ahead and delete what I have there. And we're going to look at our macro business name. There it is. We're going to hit run. Notice that the name of the company did type out, but the color didn't change. Okay, so that's where we need to go and look at the uh, VBA code. So we're going to hit Visual Basic here, and it opens up the code of your macros. And so a lot of it you won't understand, some of it you may be able to understand. For example, selection, that means you're selecting something. Um, this has all of all of the macros that are that I have created in the past. So here is the one I just created. Notice it says business name, business name macro. Selection, it is selecting that text that I typed, name of company, and then it is going to, it changes the font. Notice I had to do it three times um, and it did not work, or it didn't look like it was working, so I chose a different font. So really we don't need these three lines in there. Um, then it ch changed the font size to 20. So we need to change the font color. So how would we do that? Well we need to copy, I'm going to copy a line here, control C, and then I'm going to put that on a new line. And I'm just going to backspace because I don't want it to be font name, I want it to be font color, space equals, notice what pops up automatically, these choices. So we wanted it to be blue, so we double click on that blue color and it automatically puts the code in for blue, which is WD color blue. And then we save and then we will close and return to Microsoft Word. Now let's run the macro and see if that fixed our problem. Business name macro, run, and yes, it does change the color to blue. So that is a small uh, example of editing the VBA, the VBA code for a macro.